Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Play Again. Today we're going to be talking about a game which tied in with a film and that's Alien 3. Yay! Three times the alien, three times the fun? Uh, Not necessarily. <laughs> it's actually quite funny because we kind of went into this game um, kind of how I think most normal people do. Like when there's a licensed game you think, oh that must be, yeah, it's probably not going to be that bad. Mm. And then, as we've learned over the years, that generally video games tied in with licensed properties are absolutely terrible. Yeah. And this is really no different. I mean, this, <laughs> well, it's not terrible. Oh. But I wouldn't say it's necessarily fun either. I hated this game. It's just because, like, things were really unfair. Like, you'd jump down and then, like, all of a sudden there'd just be an alien right there to attack you and not giving you any time to like respond at all and it's just like okay wow so I just lost a bunch of health completely disregarding it being my fault at all it's just that the game just wants me to die <sighs> yeah I mean if there's if there's one good thing the game does it's that it really promotes the fact that you are useless against the aliens yeah. which I guess was the kind of philosophy behind the film as well Mm. I mean, it's like here, okay, so if you time this incorrectly, there's an alien that flies down. If when I go up, see, there's an alien there. Yep. And, like, if that runs into you, there's not really any way to kill it. No. There's really none at all. It's, it's very annoying. I mean, the kind, the reason that I, you know, I'm not doing too badly here is because I've played this level a ton. Yeah. So I kind of know where the aliens are coming from. But I mean, like, that one, just they just jump out. Yeah, but if you're just playing if this you, game If you're blind. not cautious... Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're not cautious, they will just kill you. Yeah, like basically they'll just jump out at you and go bah. That's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean like that one. If you, if if I wasn't quick enough to go back up the ladder, that would have been another one. And uh, mm. th 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 there's also a pet hate that I have with this game is that quite often you can't hit the aliens unless you're crouching. Yeah. Now, the reason why this is a pain is because sometimes when you press down, she'll aim down and not crouch. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that Which one. doesn't really help. It's just... It's, yeah. it's just like you just climb up it and all of a sudden it's just right there. And that one didn't even give you a chance. It didn't even give it a chance in order to respawn. It just jumped out. No. And the other thing that... I mean, I don't know... I'm not entirely sure, but you have a you have a um, the sensor which like is a movement sensor which they had in the film. Now, what I'm not sure about is whether it goes away if you've been hurt too much, or it goes away after a certain amount of time. But clearly, it's not there anymore, mm. and clearly, I've got less health, which just makes the game even harder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at them. They're so weird looking. I never actually watched any of the Alien movies, so playing this game is... Like, I kind of know the premise of Alien. There's a big scary alien, and Scorny Weaver is... But it's kind of like a horror thing. It's kind of like a suspense thriller kind of horror thing. Yeah, James Cameron thing. But yeah, so just playing it, I... It, it was just weird. I don't know. I mean, it does portray the... Um like the feeling of vulnerability very well. Sure. Like you often feel like I'm going to die at any point because these aliens are just flipping jumping at you out from nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, so in that case it's it's accurate to the movie. <laughs> but still. Yeah, I mean like at the start of this level, you start instantly mm -hmm. and you're already attacked. Like the reactions you need. It's like normally in games you don't attack, get attacked as soon as the level starts. I mean that's I just know. harsh. It's like normally they give you a little time beforehand to get settled, get used to the level, but in this they're just like, nope, nope, we're just gonna throw you right in and kill you. Rah! I mean, the gameplay isn't actually that bad. I mean, aside from like the annoying mm. crouch thing, um, you know, the mechanics aren't all that bad. You know, the climb, everything works. It's okay. Yeah, everything works. It's just... I just don't like when games are just obnoxiously hard. Like, they just are made hard just for the sake of being hard. Like, if the aliens were made a bit better, this game would be a lot better. Like, if they were a bit less 
cheap in how they kill people and how they try to kill you. I think it would be a lot easier, but instead they just keep attacking you at random points that are just what? Like, it, it's impossible more the fact for that you they to just react. Come out of the floor. <laughs> that too. You can't see them beforehand, and then that. Those kind of things happen. Where they, those two aliens both come from? And also bear in mind I've got no motion sensor anymore. That's already gone. Yep. <sighs> they just come out of nowhere. But yeah, like, see what I mean? Like, it's just ridiculous. It's like... Oh, let's just pop them out of nowhere so that nobody can really beat this game. It's just one of those games that requires tons of patience. Yeah, so if you're a bit like me and a bit impatient, this game might not be the best thing for you. You might yeah, I mean, want to choose something else. Or wait until they come out with a better alien game. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was recently Aliens vs. Predator. It's very true. I mean, the thing that, that, that bugs me about the game is the fact that you constantly need to duck to shoot them, so it's kind of like, mm. if you don't want to take any damage, you have to keep walking along, ducking every, like... I don't know, every five meters or so. Unless you know that the corridor is clear. Yeah. What's with that ec Oh, I guess that's just the countdown until you you need yeah, to Yeah, yeah, you have a timer for the level. And once you've collected all the different people, then it tells you that you can go to the exit. Oh, nice shot. Boom, headshot. Uh, <laughs> me, you me, won't get me. <laughs> I'm the gingerbread man <laughs> or woman in this. Scorny Weaver. I know, with buzz cut. They really did give her nice womanly parts in this game, though. Look at that little butt. There you go. <laughs> Perfectly round. Oh, uh, uh, go. One thing that can be said is that these really aren't the smartest aliens. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> that now one got just... stuck on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Why, well, thank you, game. Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem, Daryl. So Daryl and I's opinions seem kind of split this episode, as he didn't really mind it, at, whereas I found it extremely irritating. So take from it what you will. If you want to try this out, go for it. <laughs> That's it this episode of Let's Play Again. Thank you for listening and watching. This has been a GamingUnion.net production.